the officer be criminally charged tonight. A new person will make that decision. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven is here to explain. John, this is a powerful new position, really. Yeah, it certainly is, Brittany. This new job is called Inspector General. And late this afternoon, a longtime judge and former prosecutor was picked for the job. When police shoot a suspect, who decides if the officer faces criminal charges? Right now, prosecutors make the call. But soon, a new inspector general will decide. I would intend to give a fair shake to everybody. That person is former Judge Robert Devlin. He got the job late Monday afternoon. State lawmakers created the inspector general job last year after George Floyd's murder. It's part of a sweeping police reform package. When the DCJ fails to hold police accountable for killing residents, it fails to value black and Latinx life. Only one candidate was not a former prosecutor. I'm a criminal defense attorney and I come to this position uh, from a very different perspective. Um, I, again, I have no allegiance to law enforcement. In the past two decades, Connecticut has seen 81 police involved deaths. Only two officers were charged. Critics worry the new IG is too close to law enforcement. History has shown me that the vast majority of prosecutors err of the side of law enforcement because they are law enforcement. But others worry the inspector general will be anti-police. There are people in our society that think the police can do no wrong. And there are people in our society that think the police can do no right, okay? We have those, okay? And, but it's in that center spot that the inter inspector general has to work. All right, well, it will be a while before the new inspector general actually takes over cases. He still has to hire a team of investigators, Brittany. So, John, let me ask you this. What about old cases? Could they be reopened? Well, it's not clear right now, Brittany. Judge Devlin says he's not sure he even has the authority to reopen old cases. All right, we'll continue to follow this story. John Craven, thank you so much.